Hello and welcome. This is our at home study program. My name is Nigel Clark, and I'll be doing with you today the ELA subject grammar, and our topic is subject and verb agreements. Let's begin by starting and talking about what we want to achieve for this session today. Two very simple outcomes. We would like to identify the subject and verb in a sentence, and secondly, to be able to apply some of the rules of subject and verb agreement. We want to start by asking the question, what is agreement? What is agreement? What is disagreement? And I'm sure many of you have had instances where you have disagreed with a friend, a colleague, something of the sort. Agreement has to do when two people or things believe or go in the same direction. That is what we are applying in the concept of subject and verb agreement. The subject and the verb match and give an agreement. Let's discuss what the subject of the sentence is. The subject is the person, place, or thing that is doing the action or being something. The verb is the action being performed by the subject or states of being because we have verbs that are also states of being, such as was, is, are, for example. We next come to how do we find the subject in a sentence? We ask an important question. What action is being performed? What action is being performed? And in our examples, we can see the boy plays football on Sundays. If we ask ourselves, what is the action being performed? The action is please. In our next sentence, my father cooks dinner. My father cooks dinner. I ask this question, what is the action? The action is cooks. The verb is cooks. The mechanic repairs maxi taxis. The mechanic repairs maxi taxis. The verb or the action being performed is repairs. And in the final example, strong winds damage crops. What action is being performed? Damage. So we find the subject by asking a similar question. Before the verb, we ask who or what is performing the action? Who or what is performing the action in the sentence? So, example one, the boy plays football on Sundays. I ask the question, who plays football on Sundays? The boy is the subject. My father cooks dinner. Who cooks dinner? My father cooks dinner. That mechanic repairs maxi taxis. Who repairs maxi taxis? The mechanic. Strong winds damage crop. What damage? Crops, strong winds. That is how we find the subject and the verb of a sentence. Now we turn to singular and plural verbs. And you would notice, or we have learned before, that verbs are the opposite of nouns. Nouns we have learned form their plural by adding s or es. Verbs are different. They form their plural by not adding an s. Their singular forms have an S or an ES. And we can look at the examples. Singular verbs end with S or ES. For example, skips, laughs, touches, learns, enjoys. Plural verbs do not end with S or ES. For example, sing, dance, visit, write, eat, Speak. Okay, so let's practice forming the singular and plural form of verbs in a simple present tense. I will first read the verbs. You take a few seconds to identify the singular form and the plural form, and you can read them for yourselves. Sail, do, attend, see, visit, Paint, instruct, bark, prepare, lose, sweep, 
donate, catch, shop, isolate. So now we can give the singular and plural form of these verbs in the examples. The ship sails, singular form, plural form, the ships sail. You would notice, as I said, the singular form of the verb contains an S, but the plural, plural form of the verb has no S. We continue. The child does, the children do. A student attends, students attend. The teacher sees, teachers see. A doctor visits, doctors visit. The man paints, the men paint. The coach instructs, coaches instruct. The dogs bark, the dogs bark. Mother prepares, mothers prepare. The team loses, the teams lose. The worker sweeps, all workers sweep. The lady donates, the ladies donate. The player catches, the players catch. The girl shops, the girls shop. The passenger isolates, the passengers isolate. So there we have the singular and plural form of verbs. Once again, the singular form has an S, the plural form of the verb has no S. So our first rule of subject and verb agreement is what we call the follow the fingers rule. We have taken these rules and have put them across in a fun and interesting way to make it memorable. And the basic rule of subject and verb agreement is that a singular subject follows us, is followed by a singular verb and the plural subject is followed by a plural verb. That's our first rule of subject verb agreement. So let us look at some examples. Remember our first rule or follow the fingers rule? A singular subject takes a singular verb and a plural subject takes a plural verb. The waitress wash or washes the dishes. The waitress is the singular subject, so therefore we need a singular verb. The waitress wash or washes the dishes. The waitress washes the dishes. The farmer feed or feeds the animals. The farmer is singular and it requires the singular verb feeds. The farmer feeds the animals. Next example, the spectator enjoy or the spectator enjoys watching the game. The spectator singular requires a singular verb, enjoys. The spectator enjoys watching the game. The book is or are heavy. The book is or are heavy. The book is singular and a singular subject takes a singular verb. The book is heavy. And now we look at the plural forms of the verbs. Plural subjects take plural verbs. Many doctors work or works long hours. Doctors is our subject, and doctors is plural. So many doctors work long hours. The players is or are injured. The players, plural subject, requires a plural verb, are. The players are injured. The computers work or works well. The computers work or works well. We have a plural subject, computers, so we say computers work well. The books is or are heavy. The books is or are heavy. Plural subject books, so we choose the plural verbs are heavy. Okay, so let's try an exercise using the rule that we just learned. Choose the correct form of the verb to complete each sentence. 
Number one, the rhythm of the pounding waves is or are very calming and soothing. I'll reveal the answer. The rhythm of the pounding waves is very calming and soothing. The rhythm, singular subject, takes the singular verb is. Example two, the child receives or receive a warm hug from his parents every time he is late. The child receive or receives a warm hug from his parents every time he is late. The child is a singular subject and requires a singular verb. So the child receives a warm hug from his parents every time he is late. Mothers gives or give good advice that should never be ignored. Mothers is plural, a plural subject, and it therefore requires a plural verb. Mothers give good advice that should never be ignored. Example four, the class before me has or have the most students but is also the quietest. The class is the subject of the sentence. It is singular, so we require a singular verb, has. Number five, animals roam or roams the forest peacefully when hunting season is over. Animals is the subject of the sentence. Animals roam the forest peacefully when hunting season is over. Number six, they ride or rides to the market every day to sell homegrown produce. They is plural, so we need the plural form of the verb ride. They ride to the market every day to sell homegrown produce. Number seven, the house vibrates or vibrates whenever planes fly or flies overhead. We have two subjects in this sentence, the house and planes. The house, singular, requires the singular verb, and planes, plural, requires the plural verb. So we have the house vibrates whenever planes fly overhead. And that brings us to the end of this exercise. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will be back soon with another subject and verb agreement rule. Hello and welcome once again as we continue our series on subject and verb agreement and we continue with our rules of subject and verb agreement. I am Nigel Clark and I'll be taking you through this session. Review of the important rules. Now we had said on the last occasion that we were looking at some of the common rules of subject and verb agreement. We dealt with the first rule, follow the fingers, which is the essential rule that a subject, singular subject, takes a singular verb and a plural subject takes a plural verb. We now go to our second rule, the single out rule. The single out rule simply says that indefinite pronouns are words and phrases that single out. They take singular verbs. So words like each, every, every one of, not one of, somebody, nobody, each of, one of, anyone, neither of, and someone are all words and phrases that take singular verbs. So in other words, they single out. Let's look at some examples. Neither of the girls is or are present today. We have the word neither. Neither of the girls is or are present today. We might think that girls is a subject and therefore 
it requires a plural verb. But we have neither, which is a single out word that tells us we require a singular verb. So the answer is neither of the girls is present today. Example two, somebody was or were washing late last night. Somebody was or were washing last night. According to our rule, somebody is one of the indefinite pronouns that singles out. So we choose somebody was washing late last night. Singular subject, singular verb. Number three, not one of the lunches was or were left for the tardy students. Not one is a single out word. And therefore, as our rule says, we need to have a singular verb. So our answer would be, not one of the lunches was left for the tardy students. Number four, nobody is or are expected to be on the roads during a storm. Nobody is or are expected to be on the roads during a storm. Nobody is a single out word, and therefore we require a singular verb. Nobody is expected to be on the roads during a storm. Number five, each of the boys take or takes great pride in hoisting the flag. Each of the boys take or takes great pride in hoisting the flag. Each of singles out the boys. So therefore, in our answer, we choose each of the boys takes great pride in hoisting the flag. Once again, wherever we have indefinite pronouns, that single out, we must follow with a singular verb. We now have a practice exercise for you to complete. Underline the correct verb. I will read the sentences and then reveal the answers at the end. Now that he's rich and famous, people make or makes time to visit him. Number two, although he knows they are good for him, my brother dislike or dislikes vegetables. Number three, my brother and sister, both avid sport fans, play or plays basketball. Number four, one of the cars accelerates or accelerates very quickly. Number five, not one of his friends was or were able to attend this party last night. Number six, the playful pups roll or rolls around in the mud whenever they are outside. Number seven, this ice cream, although not my favorite, tastes or tastes delicious. Number eight, my cousins live or lives in Tobago, but they spend most weekends in Trinidad. Number nine, the manager and employees was or were given an increase in salary. Number 10, Michael said that he want or wants to make teaching his future career. And number 11, each of the 12 oranges was or were wrapped in paper and placed in a crate. So I hope you were checking and choosing the correct answers as we read those sentences and now we reveal the answers. And notice as well, at the end of every sentence, we have the letters F or S, which indicate whether it's the first rule or the second rule each applies to. Now that he's rich and famous, people make or makes time to visit him. The subject of the sentence is people. People make. People is plural, and it's plural verb make. 
Example two, although he knows they are good for him, my brother dislike or dislikes vegetable. Remember our rule? My brother is the subject. My brother is singular. So I choose the singular verb dislikes. Example three, my brother and sister, both avid sports fans, play or plays basketball. Brother and sister together are plural, so we choose the plural verb play. Question four. One of the cars accelerates or accelerates very quickly. One of the cars is a single out word, and therefore we choose the singular verb accelerates. Number five. Not one of his friends was or were able to attend his party last night. Not one of, remember our rule, is a single out word, and therefore we must choose a singular verb. Not one of his friends was able to attend his party last night. Number six, the playful pups roll or rolls around in the mud whenever they are outside. The playful pups roll or rolls around in the mud whenever they are outside. Our subject is pups, it's plural, so we choose the verb roll. Number seven, the ice cream tastes delicious. The ice cream is a subject, it's singular, so we choose the singular verb taste. Number eight, my cousins, plural subject, live in Tobago, but they spend most weekends in Trinidad. I choose the plural verb live because my cousins, the subject, is plural. Number nine, the manager and employees was or were given an increase in salary. This rule, the manager and the employees, makes it Plural, so we choose the plural verb, will. Number 10, Michael said that he wants to make teaching his future career. Michael is singular, so we choose the singular verb, wants. Number 11, each of the 12 oranges was or were wrapped in paper and placed in a crate. Each of, again, Referring to the single out rule, each of the oranges means that we have to take the singular verb was to complete the sentence. And the next rule that we are going to talk about is the and rule. It simply says when two or more subjects, whether singular or plural, are joined by and, a plural verb is used. For example, Paul and Chantel play Scrabble during the lunch hour. Paul and Chantel is plural, so we choose the plural verb play to complete the sentence. The pens and the pencils are safely stored in the drawer. The pens and the pencils are joined by and and are therefore plural, so we choose the plural verb are. The ducks and the chickens were running in the yard. The ducks and chickens are plural because they're joined by the word and, and we choose the plural verb will to complete the sentence. The principal and teachers are having a meeting. And once again, the word and is used between those nouns, making it plural, so we choose the plural verbs are. Let's move on to the next exercise. The AND rule also has a slight variation. When two nouns are considered as one thing, a singular noun is required. So a singular noun can be used with AND if the two nouns are considered as one thing. For example, peanut butter and jelly, fish and chips. In these two examples, 
peanut butter and jelly are considered as one meal. Fish and chips are considered as one meal. So we say peanut butter and jelly is eaten frequently at breakfast. Fish and chips is sold at many fast food outlets. So let's look at some more practice exercises with the and rules. The man and his wife go or goes to the market. The man and his wife go or goes to the market. This example shows the and rule separating the man and his wife. It makes it plural. So we need to choose the plural form of the verb. The man and his wife go to the market. Second, the boy and his sister walk or walks to the park. The word and joins the boy and his sister and makes it plural. So we need the plural form of the verb, the boy and his sister walk to the park. Number three, our aunt and uncle is or are away at the time. Again, and makes it plural, so we choose our aunt and uncle are away at this time. Number four, bread and butter is a tasty snack. Bread and butter is a tasty snack. I'll let you think about that a second. Bread and butter, according to our rule, is considered one thing. So we choose bread and butter is a tasty snack. We choose the singular verb is. Number five, Rhea and Danny write or write the most exciting story. And again, we refer to our rule, Rhea and Danny, joined by and, are considered plural. So we choose the plural form write. Rhea and Danny write the most exciting stories. That brings us to the end of this segment. Welcome back to our continuing lesson on agreement of subject and verb. I am Nigel Clark, and we move on to our fifth rule today, which is called the closer the better. And this rule simply states that with neither nor and either or, or nouns that are separated with neither nor and either or, the verb form is determined by the noun or pronoun that is closest to the verb. Hence the reason why we call this the closer, the better. Nouns that are separated by neither nor and either or are sometimes tricky. So therefore we look at both nouns and we make the noun that is closest to the verb agree with the verb. So let's look at the examples we have here. Number one, neither the dog nor the cats were in the house. Neither the dog nor the cats were in the house. We chose the verb were, which is plural, because cats is closest to the verb. Dog is further away, so according to our rule, the closer, the better, when the noun is, that is closer to the verb is plural, we choose the plural form. If the noun closer to the verb is singular, we will choose the singular form. Let's look at the ex second example. Either the girls or their friend cleans the stove before leaving. Again, we can see the nouns Girls, plural, and friend, singular. 
friend is closer to the verb, so we make friend agree with the verb. So with the sentence reads, either the girls or their friend cleans the stove before leaving. Example three, neither the book nor the pens are available. The book is the first noun and it's separated from the pens. Which do we make agree, the book or the pens? The pens is closer to the verb, so the pens are available. The pens are available. Example four, either the markers or the crayon is the best choice. We have markers, which is plural, and crayon, which is singular. Because crayon is closer to the verb, we say the crayon is. So either the markers or the crayon is the best choice. So our rule, the closer the better, says that when nouns are separated by neither, nor, or either, or, the verb that is formed is determined by the noun that is closest to the verb. That is the rule that we are learning first. So we shall now do some exercises in which we can apply the rule closer the better. Choose the correct answer for each sentence. Number one, after the party, neither the children nor the woman was or were hungry. Observe the nouns, children and woman. Children is plural, woman is singular. And I have to choose either the singular form of the verb was or the plural form of the verb were. According to our rule, woman is closer to the verb, so we say the woman was. Exam sentence two. Either you or your brothers has or have to attend the function. Notice the noun, the pronoun you and the noun brothers. Brothers is closer to the verb, so we say either you or your brothers have to attend the function. Brothers is plural, so we choose the plural verb have. Sentence three, neither Amanda nor Kevin try or tries to use the washing machine. Observe the noun separated by nor Amanda nor Kevin, both of them are singular, and Kevin being closer to the verb would agree with the verb. So we say, Kevin tries. Neither Amanda nor Kevin tries very hard. Sentence four. Neither the mangoes nor the papa was or were ripe. The verbs, the nouns in the sentence, mango and papa, which is closer to the verb. Papa is closer to the verb. So we say, neither the mangoes nor the papa was ripe. Sentence five. Either the chairs or the table needs or need to be repaired before the examination begins. The nouns, the subjects, chairs and table. Chairs is plural, table is singular, but table is closer to the verb. So table must agree with the verb. Table needs. Either the chairs or the table needs to be repaired before the examination begins. Number six, although they have not eaten, neither Sammy nor his friends is or are hungry. Again, observe the nouns Sammy, singular, and friends, plural. We choose the form of the verb that matches friends. Friends being singular, I choose the verb, 
are sentence seven either my mother or my father usually signs or sign my homework either my mother or my father usually signs or sign my homework observe my mother singular my father also singular but father is closer to the verb so we choose to singular my father signs and this completes this exercise we now move to a new rule which we call the no strings attached rule and it simply says when the subject is separated from the verb by expressions such as along with as well as and besides ignore these expressions when determining whether to use a singular or plural verb phrases such as along with as well as and besides may sound like it's plural or the subject is plural but we ignore those and we cut those strings for example the politician along with the journalist is or are expected tomorrow the politician along with the journalist is or are expected tomorrow the phrase along with the journalist can distract us from seeing the politician as the subject so we usually ignore it so we crossed it out and we read the sentence as follows the politician along with the journalist is expected tomorrow we choose the singular form is because the politician the subject is singular so we have some other phrases that are attached phrases that can distract from seeing the subject so we are going to do an exercise in week where we cross them out phrases such as in addition to like as well as together with besides and including are some other phrases that distract us from seeing the first noun as a subject so in these next examples we are just going to cross out those attached phrases and then choose the verb that best completes the sentence the pen as well as the pencils is or are on the table the first noun is the pen so we can cross out as well as and therefore make the pen match with the subject is the pen singular so we choose the singular subject is andre together with his three friends write or writes wonderful stories andre the subject together with his three friends writes wonderful stories so we cross out together with it's the attached phrase so we cross that out and andre the singular subject is matched with right singular verb let's look at a couple others the prime minister together with his wife greets or greet the press cordially i'll read again the prime minister together with his wife greets or greet the priest press cordially the prime minister is the subject and the prime minister is singular so we choose the singular verb greets the movie including all the previews take or takes about two hours to watch we identify the subject the subject is the movie including all the previews is the attached phrase so we ignore that and we read the sentence the movie including all the previews takes because movie is singular we choose the singular verb takes now we have an exercise combining those two rules for us to practice we will go through each one at a time maya along with her friend is or are going to return the damaged computer to the store 
Maya is the subject of the sentence, along with her friend is the attached phrase, so we must make Maya agree with the verb. Maya is singular, so we choose the singular verb is. Number two, either the boys or the girl is or are the best choice to represent our school in the competition. Either the boys or the girl is or are the best choice to represent our school in the competition. In this one, we have the girl being closer to the verb. The subject girl is singular, so we say the girl is. Sentence three, the mason as well as the laborers arrive or arrives on the job site promptly each morning. The subject of the sentence is mason. Do we use arrive or arrives? The mason is singular, so we say the mason arrives. Number four, Raphael, like his older brother, prefer or prefers camping and hiking as a form of recreation. This is an example of the attached phrase. Raphael is the subject and Raphael is singular. So Raphael prefers. Number five, neither my father nor my brothers want to sell the car. Neither my father nor my brothers want to sell the car. And according to our rule, brothers is the noun that is closest to the verb. So we say brothers, plural, want to sell the car. Number six, either daddy or the children has or have removed all the dishes that were left on the table. Daddy is singular, children is plural, but children is a noun that is closer to the verb, so we say the children have removed all the dishes. Number seven, the singer, accompanied by the two bodyguards, was or were escorted off the stage. The singer, accompanied by the two bodyguards, was escorted off the stage. Remember, singer is singular, and therefore we choose the singular verb, was. Number eight, neither the books nor the computer is or are as expensive as we thought. Neither the books nor the computer is. Computer is the noun that is closer to the verb. So we say the computer is. Number nine, neither the doctors nor the attending nurse was or were willing to leave the ill patient. In this sentence, we have doctors as the first noun, plural, attending nurse, singular as the second noun. Nurse is closer to the verb, so we say neither the doctors nor the attending nurse was. Number 10. The houses, in addition to the fence, need or needs to be repaired and repainted. We look for the subject. The subject is houses. The attached phrase in this sentence, we ignore it, and we make houses agree with the verb. The houses need, because houses is plural, so we choose the plural verb need. That brings us to the end of this segment of subject verb agreement. Hello and welcome to our final part of subject verb agreement. I am Nigel Clark and we are going back to the rules of subject and verb agreement. We are now looking at collective is cool rule, and you and I are special. Before we go forward, let us once again review 
the rules from one to eight. We had our father the fingers rule, the single it out rule, the and rule, the and rule plural, the and rule singular, the closer the better rule, no strings attached, and we now go to collective is cool. This rule is about collective nouns. It says that a collective noun, singular in meaning, requires a singular verb. For example, a bouquet of flowers was or were presented to the contestant. A bouquet of flowers is singular. It denotes a singular unit, so therefore a singular verb is required. So a bouquet of flowers was. Second example, a flock of birds fly or flies over the Caroni swamp. A flock is a collective noun. It therefore requires a singular verb. Our next rule is the you and I are special rule. You and I are pronouns. And subject verb agreement rules apply to all pronouns except you and I. Although singular, these pronouns require the plural form of verbs. You move gracefully. I work or works hard all day. We say I work hard all day. I take or takes good care of myself. We say I take good care of myself. You write or writes faster than I do. We have you write faster than I do. So the you and I are special rule tells us that we always use the plural forms for, with these verbs. Number one, the box of crayons has or have been used. Remember, collective nouns require singular verbs. So we see the box of crayons has been used. Example two, Joel said that you has or have not been feeling well. According to our rule, you is special and it requires the plural form. So Joel said that you have not been feeling well. Example three, a bunch of keys was or were found and lodged in the office. A bunch of keys is a collective noun, so we use the singular form. A bunch of keys was found and lodged in the office. Example four, a fleet of ships was or were dispatched to assist the maroon sailors. Again, our collective is cool rule means that we must use the singular form. So we say a fleet of ships was dispatched to assist the maroon sailors. Number five, remember you and I are special. I need or I need to speak to you urgently about your plans. We use the plural form, I need to speak to you urgently about your plans. And the final example, a cluster of stars appears or appear brighter when you view it with a telescope. The collective cool rule tells us a cluster of stars needs to have a singular verb, a cluster of stars appears brighter when you view it with a telescope. Right, we're now going to look at our final activity in which we're going to apply all of the rules of, that we have learned in this passage. So I'm going to read the passage, you read it along with me, and then we'll identify the subject verb agreement errors and correct them. The national team are returning home on the next available flight. 
The manager, along with his players, are calling for financial assistance as their funds have run out. Many unforeseen expenses meant that neither the coach nor the players was able to travel to the tournament venue. In light of this development, the manager and his staff indicated that they was not mentally prepared to participate. Everyone at home agreed that the best decision was taken. So again, we are looking for the errors in subject verb agreement and being mindful of the rules that we learned earlier on. So let's take the first line of the passage. The national team are returning home. Remember our rule, collective is cool. So team requires a singular verb. So we don't say the team are, we say the national team is returning home on the next available flight. Let's go to the next sentence. The manager along with his players are calling for financial assistance as their funds have run out. And if we take this sentence, we'll notice that it has our no strings attached rule. There's the attached phrase, the manager is singular, so we ignore the attached phrase, the manager is calling for financial assistance. Next sentence, many unforeseen expenses meant that neither the coach nor the players was able to travel to the tournament venue. Again, we are looking at the errors. We are looking for where the rules would apply. Neither the coach nor the players. That's our closer is better rule. So the coach, singular. We have the noun players, which is plural, and it's closer to the verb. So we see the players were able to travel to the tournament venue. Next sentence. In light of this development, the manager and his staff indicated that they was not mentally prepared to participate. And looking at that fourth line, they was not. They is plural, so it requires us to use a plural verb. They were not mentally prepared to participate. And in the final line and sentence, we have everyone at home agree that the best decision was taken. And according to our single out rule, everyone is a single out word, and it therefore requires a singular verb. So we don't say everyone agree, we say everyone agrees. And there you have it. This brings us to the end of our subject of verb agreement lesson. I thank you very much for participating and enjoying. Do have a good day.